Hey guys, how y'all doing? So yeah, what I got for you today is I got the Bleach Rebirth of Souls Rukia Kuchki char character trailer. Sorry. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe it might be fun to, you know, check it out. See what it's about. So, yeah, I guess with no further delay, I guess let's go check it out and see what it's about. Three, two, one. Please let this work. And here we go. Please. Okay. Uh huh. Yep, that's the name of the game. Uh huh. Yeah, no kidding. And yet, guys, I just I just thought of something that I didn't think of before. Is Rookie in this game like? The captain of Squad 13? Or is she a lieutenant? Or an officer? I mean, she's one of, she's one of them. I think. I don't know. Yeah, that's the name of her. That's the name of her. Zanpakuto, or at least I think that's how you pronounce that word. Z A N. P A K T O U. I think that's how you, that's how you pronounce it. I think I don't know. Uh huh. Okay. Seriously, where in the timeline does this game take place? Because if it takes place at the beginning of Bleach, then. <laughs> Rukia might be a little that this description might be a little outdated. A kind-hearted soul reaper with an old-fashioned way of speaking. She has plenty of resources to adapt to her opponents in battle. Um If I remember correctly in the first episode, let's see. She appears outside Katakura Town. Then she ends up at Ichigo's plate. Then she ends up at Ichigo's house. Walks in through his window after she's a after she sees a butterfly. Then if I remember correctly, then she binds his hands behind his back using keto using Using some sort of binding spell or something like that, I think. Unless, it, unless, unless, unless I was watching a different version of the first episode. Yeah, I'm almost a hundred percent certain that's what happens in it. I mean, I mean, is that is that what happens? Or. Or am I just... Or was I watching a different version than everybody else was? Uh-huh. I will defeat you here. You have got to be kidding me. Is that Michelle Ruff I hear? Is that her... Is that her voice I... Is that... Is that her voice I hear? That voice is almost unmistakable. You know, like Johnny Young Bosch's voice for Ichigo? Yeah, that voice is almost unmistakable. Really? <laughs> okay. Guys, this right here is something that really confuses me. Her signature move is Hato number 31... Shakaho. Now, I want you guys to take a look at the take a look at the name of this of this move. Uh, I mean, attack. Shakaho. 
S H A K K A H O. Wouldn't it be Shakaho? Unless they meant to put an O where the where that first where where this A is right here. Yeah, then I think that might be a misprint in the script. Unless the unless that's the way Rukia is supposed to say it, I guess. Okay, her spiritual pressure move number one is Hado number four. Biakurai. Wait a minute. I have never seen her do this. Released while stepping backward, Biakurai makes Rukia momentarily invincible. Allowing for punishing attacks. I have never seen her. I've never seen her once do this. There's no escape. Really? And wait. Didn't Renji and and her brother come to Katakura Town like like in episode number seven? I think it was. Maybe it was Zane? I don't know. I don't know. But the point is... Point, point I'm trying to make here, guys, is... Renji and... Byaku... Byakuya? At least I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, Rukia's brothers show up. And they basically know something isn't right. Oh boy. Okay. Spiritual pressure move number two. Hotter number thirty-three. So sweet. I think that's how you say that. I could be wrong. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. S O K A T S U I. Okay. A follow-up attack. That can be that can be used after Rukia lunges and slashes successfully. Really, Whew, man. And yet Renji sneaks up behind her. Really? Wait, fate. Is it fate? Okay, guys. I maybe I'm look. My knowledge of this word might be a little wrong here or, or off or. Not exist at all, but isn't fate something like you can't? Ch isn't fate something you can't change? Like maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking of something else here. I don't know. All right. Dance. Oh boy. And yes, this is Rukia releasing her Shikai. Wait a minute. Now that is something I ne that is something I've never understood about about Bleach. It has two there's two levels of their Zanpak to their Shikai, there's Bankai. I think that's how you pronounce those words. I think I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know these. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to correctly pronounce these words, people. I'm just pronouncing them the best I can. So if I got. So if I get these words wrong, people, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. Okay. So anyway, Rukia's. Rukia's. Okay. Anyway, awakening, releasing her Shikai, Soden Shirayuki. Strengthen, strengthens her overall capabilities and transforms her spiritual pressure moves to complement Sodena Shirayuki. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway. But, wait. Why would... Why would that... Why would that make her... Why would that make her Zantakto stronger... If it's already a strong one as it is. 
Just ask him. That's all. Oh, boy. Overturn the tide of battle. Accept your soul. Really? Yep, this is who the trailer was about. Right here. This person right here. This right here. And again, I have to ask this, guys. I asked it already in the video, but I'm going to ask it again. In this game, is Rukia the captain of Squad 13? A lieutenant? Or is she an officer? I don't know. She has a strong resistance and an array of abilities for many situations. Are you, are they talking about the same rook here that, that I'm thinking of? The one that basically the one that basically had to give of her give of her soul reaper powers in the first episode. The Ichigo and the one who and the one who Sometime after 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 she did, ended up being taken back to the Soul Society where she was going to be uh, unalived, shall we say. And the same one who had to be rescued by Ichigo. Are we talking about the same Rukia, the same Rukia here? People, because I don't think we are. Um, like I said, unless this is unless this is taken from both the manga and the anime, then some of this I'm not I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna know. But if it's taken from the anime, yeah, I'm gonna kind of know what they're. I'm like know kind of where they're going with this. Yeah. Nice. So, um, yeah, what'd you guys think? If you guys did enjoy this, and I really hope you did, um, guys, this is the part where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna ask you guys a little favor. I'm gonna ask you guys a little, a little favor here. Okay? And it's not, and guys, this favor, this favor I'm about to ask you isn't going to cost you any money. No, 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 no. I will not beg you for money. The only thing I am going to ask you to do is to like the video. If there's any other game trailers you want me to react to, I'll see what I can do about getting them and see what I can do about doing that reaction video for you. And if I've already done your video... Then chances are it's probably available. It's probably available on the channel and check it out. And guys, I give you guys full permission if you guys want to. If you guys want to redistribute my videos onto your channel, if you guys want to re redistribute any videos you see on my channel that are available, go right ahead. I don't personally really give a damn anymore. And guys, do share the video around, okay? I, I'd really appreciate if you guys could do that. Um, and yeah, like I said, if there's any of you guys, any any other game trailers you want me game trailers you want me to react to, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do about making them happen. All right. And so, yeah. I guess that's about it. And guys, share these videos around for those who wish to see. And my friends, do not forget to subscribe for more of me and these videos you shall see. And until then, later fam squad. <laughs>